few months back I made a video about how I plan to have an indoor garden this winter for the first time ever and so far the plans have been running really smoothly. I have all of my citrus plants in the house, a couple perennials that I've already put in pots that are in in this very room and I even have my green stock planter which is right next to me you just can't see it yet. I don't know about you but winters are really long, really dreary. I definitely struggle with seasonal depression when we are stuck indoors and the days are just gloomy and we don't see sun for sometimes weeks at a time. So one way I'm hoping to counter this depression, this seasonal depression, is through growing food in the house and growing plants. I am hoping to grow lots of greens, some herbs, and citrus. I might even be able to harvest my first slime in the not too far away future. Well, the first step I've already completed and that's simply bringing things from the outside into the house. But I did record that, so let's jump back a few days ago when I brought the green stock in the house. Hey friends, today I am taking that green stock that you see behind me over there and I am going to dump all the soil out into the kitchen garden beds I'm gonna be filling it up with brand new soil and I'm bringing it inside. So I wanted to bring you guys along with the process because this is, this is the first time I'm ever going to have an indoor garden. So let's get started and get this green stock cleaned out. First things first, dump the soil, unstack the tears and dump the soil into the kitchen garden. Joining me today is Mr. Malachi. He's really sleepy, but he says hello, right? Sleepy boy. Running from all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew we would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Whew, It is cold out and breezy So I'm glad I'm getting this done now As opposed to waiting until it's even colder. So you can't see it yet, but you'll see it in a minute. I have all of the uh, trays here and I'm gonna fill them with potting soil, bumper crop potting soil. It's a Costa Maine product, which is my favorite brand. I'm gonna get these filled and then we're gonna bring them into the house one by one and then stack them inside. Time has gone and I grew up I somehow made it through without Inside. Mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark In order to bring the green stock indoors I did have to dump out all of the soil that was in it Because one, it had already been used And was probably pretty nutrient depleted From the plants that I grew in the summertime But two, Lots of bugs and things like that had made their home inside that soil. So to bring it inside, I don't want to deal with tons of spiders, tons of bugs, tons of pests. So I dumped them all out. I cleaned it really well, sprayed it down with the highest setting on my hose. I filled it with new potting soil from sterile bags, which just means that it came from the store um, in sealed bags so it doesn't have lots of pests living in it and I brought each le level in and stacked it all up in the grow room. Now we did stack it, I think it was like midnight, so I didn't record that footage of bringing it in the house, but I did record all the footage of cleaning it out and getting it ready to come in. My green stock planter is seven levels. It is the leaf planter, meaning that the pockets are a little bit um, skinnier so they're better for planting green grains and herbs my one doubt is how the light is going to be in the green stock in the house i do have it in our grow room which is the room that does get the most light from the south you can see right now i am just being flushed with lots of natural light and that's why i have all of my citrus trees right in this corner so my green stock is right next to me i'll show you 
But in addition to the natural light, I do have a grow light that I'm going to be using with the green stock. I recorded a video about this grow light, how I'm planning to use it, where I have it positioned, getting it installed. So now is a true test to see how it will do with the green stock planter. There really isn't any grow light that's going to do really well with such a tall planter because the light is going to hit the top really well and it's just not going to necessarily get the bottom really well. So we'll just see how it goes and maybe I'll plant things in the bottom that I'm okay with getting leggier and things in the top that I really want to be that nice compact size. So let me tell you a little bit about my citrus trees. I do have three citrus trees. I bought them all in the last six months and this is the first year that I'm growing citrus. In upstate New York, we cannot grow citrus outdoors, but I do come from Southern California where citrus is grown outdoors all year long and my dad had at least a couple dozen citrus trees growing up. I remember picking lemons to make fresh lemonade. We even had a lemonade stand where we made fresh lemonade and sold the lemonade for a steep price um, in our neighborhood. And so I have just great memories of citrus being in our home all the time. I would pick limes if I wanted to use limes in meals. They were grapefruits and tangerines and just all kinds of amazing citrus at all times when I wanted it growing up. So I was hoping to just bring some of my childhood here with me in New York by having some citrus trees. And when I realized you could do them in containers, I got two very large pots and they sat empty for years in this room until I finally decided to make the plunge and buy the citrus trees. So I bought a orange tree, I bought an orange tree and I bought a Persian lime tree. And then a few weeks after that, I saw a pink lemonade lemon tree at Tractor Supply in this tiny little dinky pot. And so I took it out of that pot, put it in a grow bag and had it outside this summer. So I bought it inside now and it's actually doing a lot better. It has a lot of new growth on it. The orange tree was stunted for a while, but is throwing off a ton of new growth now. And my lime tree has four limes that are getting pretty mature and a bunch of fresh blossoms on it. So I would say things are off to a great start when it comes to growing citrus. There are a few things you want to keep in mind if you are planning to grow citrus in pots. The first thing is you're going to need to fertilize regularly because pots and the soil in the pots get depleted really fast. So you need to fertilize on an ongoing basis to make sure that your trees have plenty of nutrients. The second thing is you're going to potentially need to pot up your plants on an ongoing basis every couple years or so. And if you don't want to pot up, you can trim back the roots. And that's something I have not done yet, but may have to do in the future. It is so warm in this room, you guys, because of the sun coming in that no matter what I wear, I get hot so fast. I had planned to get this video to you guys a little bit sooner because I brought all of these plants in over a week ago, but then Malachi's birthday party happened and we celebrated with my family, so things got a little derailed. I did want to show you guys a couple of clips from his birthday. He turns one in a couple of weeks, but my mom and brother were in town, so we celebrated it a little early. Are you going to pick this out of your video? This was uh, a hauling bib. I lose my breath whenever I see you. Okay, pumpkin, you're still pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
make me smile what is it that you do my life was great till you added colors wanna be free of this heart yeah wanna feel your arms around me I need you more need you here more than I would like to admit let's forget about tomorrow yeah should I hide away forever should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight call you mine think about you every time I remember that it's over yeah you never break, you never lie you never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop, yeah, yeah You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay, it's just a phase Everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah